Hello everyone, let's continue with the test for today's lesson. The test can be divided into three categories, which are one sample t test, independent sample t test, and paired sample t test. And the cases are given as follow. And today you will learn how to statistically analyze using one sample t test. What have been mentioned during the introduction to SPSS, we will need to enter our data in variable view and our data can be seen clearly in data view. In this case, I will use the data as shown in the video. I am interested in the variable of height. Specifically, I want to know does my sample differ from the national average. Let's say we sample these people from certain countries and we want to know how they compare to the average Malaysian mean. To cut it short, t-test is used to compare group sample mean to another known mean. Okay, now you go to analyze, click compare means and proportion, and click one sample t-test. We will move height to the test variables. We need to set our hypothesized population mean in the box uh, next to test value. Let's say other research have done the study and say that it has an average height of 65 inches tall. All right, everyone. So this is the data that we already analyzed just now. So the first table represent descriptive statistics, the one that we already learned in introduction to SPSS. This is a simple descriptive statistic. The second table refer to inferential statistic. The T value here and the DF value here will bring you value later on. So in order for you to identify if your data is significantly different from the population sample, then you have to look at these three criteria here. So the first one is you have to look at the T value. T value here, all right, so T value is the one you got in the second table. All right, then you have to refer to the T distribution table and then if the T is larger than the critical value of which mean it gets from the table then it means it is significantly different and then the second one is you have to look at the p-value usually p-value less than 0 0.05 uh, means significant significantly different all right so the number three is to have is to look at the confidence interval Right from the data we got here, it shows that our mean is not significantly different from the population mean. All right, that's it from me. Thank you. So you can ask us any question you want, and we would like to answer your question. Thank you.